Okay, so now I'm going to go through page 37 of worksheet 5. It says, use a ruler to measure each line. So, you need to start your ruler at the zero mark, okay, and you will start at where the line begins, okay, over here where the line begins. So, I'm going to give you the measurement so you're able to check through the answers. Okay, line AB is 10 centimeters. Line CD is 12 centimeters. The length, the line EF, the length of line EF is 9 centimeters. And the length of the line GH is 14 centimeters. Okay, so you realize that the lines actually have different orientations. Some of them are almost straight. Some of them are uh, joint, like pointing downwards, some pointing upwards, okay? So it is important where we start. We always need to make sure that we start at the beginning and with the zero centimeter mark. Next. For this question, you can refer to my previous video because I actually walked you through this activity. So in case you just need to check the answer, this is 14 centimeters. Now, because we're using a string, I do this one, I still allow a plus minus one centimeters because it depends on the thickness of your string as well. So you might get a different, you might get a different length. Okay, so only plus minus one centimeter. If it's two centimeters, I will actually um, I'll actually not continue, uh, not allow the answer. Okay, so do your corrections for that. Okay, and see it's 15 centimeters. Okay, for worksheet six, it says estimate. Okay, when we see the word estimate, okay, let's highlight. When we see the word estimate, it means to make a guess. Okay, so um, you do not need to, um, so when you make a guess, we want to make smart guesses. Okay. So for this line in A, all right, we estimate it is actually about 14 centimeters. If you realize it's almost as long as your the ruler that you have that you usually use and can put inside your pencil box. So for B, same thing is 15 centimeters, okay, because you, you do realize that it's also a bit a bit longer, all right, than one it used to. And for C, wow, it's very short. Okay, so if we take a look at 12, mm, it's a bit too long. 7, okay, possible. And if it's 2 centimeters, that's definitely too short for the line to be 2 centimeters. Therefore, we make it 7 centimeters. For this page, okay, you realize that the lines are actually joined, but they are moving at different orientations. So when we use a ruler, you actually, what you can do is to measure the two parts. You measure this part first using this visor draw. This part first, okay? And then you measure this length here, okay? Until this side. And then you add the two lengths together. So that should give you the, that should give you the, the estimated length of this, of this lines. Okay, so for this case, D is 12 centimeters, E is 20 centimeters, and for F, it is 26 centimeters. Okay, now, page, for page 41 and 42, okay, this one, you need a ruler, pencil, and eraser for you to be able to draw. Now, do take note when I mark, okay, and if I notice that your line is straight and then like that, okay, and then Miss Faiza will circle. So, if I circle, if, that's, if I circle, that means this is to show you that your line is actually not straight, okay? So, please erase it and then redraw. Now, some of you just have lines. So, some of you just give me a line like that. You just give me a line with no label. So, you must remember you need to always label A or B and mention the length, okay? So, this allows you to actually uh, check back. So, you, you can actually check back your work once you are done. Same thing over here. Now, over here, Ms. Faiza will give, show you the length. Okay, 
So once I measure, just let me change the ink. Okay, use a ruler and measure the length of line MN. If you use the ruler, you would know that line MM, MN is actually 7 centimeters. Okay, so they want you to draw a line which is 2 centimeters longer. Longer, that means I need to add. So 7 plus 2, therefore to draw line OP, OP is actually 9 centimeters. So you draw the line here. Draw line QR, which is one centimeter shorter than MN. So it's still MN here. So shorter, I need to minus seven minus one. Seven centimeters minus one centimeter, which gives you six centimeters. So you draw a line that is six centimeters long. So for ST, which is three centimeters longer than line MN again. So MN, we go back to this this line here, so it's seven, and you need to add three more because it's at, at three centimeters because it's three centimeters longer, okay, which gives you ten centimeters, okay. So I forget to leap. So ten centimeters, so you draw ten centimeters in this area. And lastly, draw line X Y, which is two centimeters longer than line S T. Okay, so we need to be very focused. Line ST is not this one. It's not this one, but line ST is actually, it actually comes from question C. Now we know ST is 10 centimeters, but XY is 2 centimeters longer. So again, 10 plus 2, which gives you 12 centimeters. Okay, so again, you draw 12 centimeters. Now don't forget, when you draw, you need to label, okay? I always find that's using a computer, so I'm not able to draw a straight line here. Once you label it, remember you need to identify the length, okay? So write down the length of the line that you just drew.